What's going on guys? Thanks for coming and checking out today's video. Well, it's gonna be on me and my experience with Fitment Industries. Um, back in March, which was about three months ago, I ordered some wheels and tires through Fitment Industries. Today is June 22nd. I ordered wheels and tires March 8th, okay? So I ordered them for the Acura Integra because I got the Acura Integra registered for some track days at the end, uh, beginning of April and the end of April, okay? So I got about a month away from my order and about two months away from my order. And just to speed this up real quick, I didn't receive any wheels and tires for three months, okay? I received them on June 1st, okay? And this is how it went down real quick. We'll go into my email real quick. I'm just gonna show you some quick emails. So we'll go right to March 8th. And it says, thank you for your order for Fitment Industries. There's my address if you want to send me something. And here's what I ordered. I ordered some Koenig Hypergram wheels, bronze color, 15 by sevens. Nothing special. These wheels have been out for like three, four, five, ten years. I don't even know how long. Same thing with these tires. They've been out at least two years. Nothing special. I didn't order any Japan wheels from anywhere. You know, these are just like, I need some track day tires. Send them to me. I need them as quick as possible, okay? And basically what happened is if we just skip right to March 24th, which is a few weeks later, I emailed them like, hey, your tracker hasn't updated, okay? So they have like a pizza tracker that shows you, um, you know, when you placed your order in one block, um, your stuff is on our way to our um, facility. And then at the facility, it's being mounted to balance. And then from there, it's shipping to your house, okay? Well, three weeks go by, and it's still in stage one, okay? It hasn't moved. And they basically, um, I have this one lady, her name is Amy, helping me out through this whole thing. And she basically says that they only have two wheels at the warehouse. And they're at the mercy of the manufacturer for the estimated time frames on the other two. So basically... My wheels are on back order pretty much, but they never say in all these emails through these three months that my wheels are on back order, okay? There's a whole bunch of back and forth with the emails and um, they're basically on back order. So here's my thing, is that when you go on the Fitment Industries website and you're shopping for wheels and tires, what I got want you guys to know is that the one thing that influenced me to buy these wheels, okay, that helps out during the shopping for all this is that if you look here, my wheels right here, the hypergrams, it says in stock, and when I bought them, they were in stock, okay? And it actually gives you a date, all right, which is July 6th. Now, today is June 22nd. That's about two weeks away. So when I placed my order back in March, I was, it did the same thing. It gave me about two weeks, and then they would ship or whatever. I'd get them around then, okay? I'd get them before my track day, pretty much. And so. But that's not the case, okay? So where this gets kind of interesting is, is that during these last three months, with all these emails and stuff like that, I kept checking the website and this did not update, it said in stock until about a week before I actually received the wheels and tires, which was on June 1st, okay? Which is about three months. So what I kind of learned from that is, is that Fitment Industries really doesn't, I don't know what they have in the warehouse, but they don't know that the warehouse is either low on stock or their manufacturer distributor doesn't know what's low on stock until somebody orders something and they find out, okay? There's, they don't have any like live way of figuring it out. So potentially if you order some wheels and tires from them, you could get put on the back order list like me and not even not even know it. Like that's that's kind of sucky, okay, in my opinion, that you know, you just don't know what's going on and you assume like I when I order something, I kind of know if I'm ordering it, it's gonna take a long time to get. This kind of sucks because you're just you know, and they didn't really let me like I put in the emails, some of the emails, like if I could change the wheels up so I can make it to one of these track days and they were kind of like no, okay, like they kept telling me kind of like scanning around the whole issue. So at the end of May, I ended up getting this email with an update saying that we're building your order. So my order is actually moving through the pizza tracker. It's actually only on the second stage of like four, right? Well, the same day I get another email from Amy, right? And it says that 
one of my tires out of the four tires they don't have. So they only have three tires at the warehouse that the fourth tire they're gonna have to order. So they have my wheels, they have three tires and they just found out they need to order one more. And I'm just supposed to continue waiting, like in waiting and waiting forever, I guess. Anyways, the wheels end up showing up, most and tires on June 1st. And I just recently unpackaged them. Um, going back and looking at the tracking when they actually ship the wheels and tires, it was pretty quick. Uh, nothing to complain about there. The packaging they, they were shipped in was some real heavy duty plastic and styrofoam, like this foam, cardboard, pretty good stuff. The wheels, perfect looking, okay? But there are a few other issues that have really kind of bothered me with the whole experience and with um, my wheels and tires. Okay, so these three tires here have a sticker that say April. April, and that one's in April. All right, so this one says May on it. So all of my April wheels will wait. Uh, will wait, and there's a will wait. Now, supposedly all three of these um, came as a group according to the emails, and this one was the one tire they had to order which is the May tire probably. This one has no wheel weights. I'm not saying that you can't mount and balance a tire perfectly and have it spin around and it come back and say zero weights. I've done it a bunch of times, but I'm pretty sure with this damn tire here, since it is the last one to get mounted and balanced, um, I, bet you, I bet you if I put it on a balancer, it would. All right, so I really don't like the chrome valve stem caps and the sleeves they put on the valve stems, okay? Um, they really don't match anything, and they are actually not very good for the valve stem. The end of these can be like really sharp. Uh, I've already taken, already taken off like three of them, but um, on one end, they can be really, really sharp. I mean, it'll actually dig into the rubber on the valve stem and create leaks. I've seen it a whole bunch. So these things gotta come off. I don't know why they put them on here. It's just it's just really bad. These things are kind of a pain in the butt to get off to, but they do come off. But let's go ahead and uh, see how much air pressure's in this tire, because I promise you there's probably way too much pressure in this tire. 62 PSI. This tire has 62 PSI. So I mountain balance tires pretty much every day at work and you can pretty much look at what you're doing and know that you know you're mounting balancing tires for like a car and not a heavy duty truck and the normal psi for a car can anywhere between can be anywhere between 28 psi into like 45 psi that's usually where the range is okay now this tire here has 62 psi in it right and the reason why it has 62 in it more than likely is to get this bead on this wheel when they're installing it to seat, they basically have to double the PSI in it, right? Uh, to get the seat to pop over. Let's put some air in this guy. I think we've reached our limit, <laughs> which here goes up to about 60. Therefore, I get the hammer out and hope for the best. But that happens a lot. It happens with every tire install pretty much. You need to like put more air pressure in it than you would run, you know, going down the road. There we go. All better. But installing wheels and tires, you know that you need to let that pressure out and to let that pressure out when you have it hooked up to the machine, it's pretty much as simple as pushing a button and standing there for about five to ten seconds and let the air out of it down to a normal level okay and since i've got 50 some pounds of air in here i can let it out simply by pushing this button oh wait took too much out <laughs> what this says to me that there's 62 psi which is this car calls for like 31 psi or something like that 
There's double the amount of PSI. Mm, 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 mm. To me, that's like handing someone a balloon that's got twice as much air in it than it's supposed to have. Touch it. I'm, I'm not, I, I'm... Like handing it to somebody and putting it in their face and go, here you go. How do you, how do you think that person feels? I'm not going to pump it. I'm just way, I'm just way, I'm just way, I'm just way. When you hand them something that has twice as much air in it than it's supposed to be, it's kind of like handing them a bomb that's about to pop in their face. That's not how a basketball should feel. This shit is getting harder than my meat on a lonely What's wrong? You scared? You scared? Bro, listen to the way it sounds. It's kind of what this feels like right now. Like, I know I'm supposed to go through and check all the tire pressures, which I am, but not spending 10 seconds to lower this pressure to a reasonable pressure is that we don't we don't care. We're just gonna mount the shit and, and just ship it. Went through and checked all of them. They're all of them are like 59, 58. All of them are over over pressured or shipped to me with way too much pressure. Just it's just. It's all right. With that being said, again, just be on the lookout for when you order from these people because you might not get it in the time frame that they're posting on their website. Now their website. It's great. It gives you the gallery. Um, it lets you order crazy wheel sizes that, you know, a discount tire and tire rack won't let you order. You know, you, you can mis mix and match some crazy sizes and just, and they'll, they'll fit them up and everything like that. It's pretty cool. But just remember that the dates, they're not set in stone at all. Okay. If you guys have any experience with Fibbit Industries and an order, you know, you can write your story down in the comment box below. I'd like to hear it. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it for this video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. You guys take care, be safe, and have a great weekend. Later.